Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Caden. Today we're chatting with The View co-host as well as Fuller House star Candace Cameron Bure because she's here supporting the Eating Recovery Center. We'll be chatting with her all about it, joining The View, and so much more. So get ready for a great day behind the velvet rope. Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade. So Candace Cameron Bure, I was just telling you, this was such a powerful 45 minutes of my life because until you hear firsthand stories on how much eating disorders can affect people's lives, you don't realize it. Talk to me about working with the Eating Recovery Center and the work they're doing. Well, you know, eating recovery is something that I've personally experienced, so I'm happy to be a voice for the Eating Recovery Center. This is a place where I can send people to that are experiencing uh, eating disorders, family and friends that are concerned about a loved one, um, you know, they're, they're the leading recovery center in what they do and they can help from all aspects um, no matter where you are at within it or to give valuable tools and information to family and friends. Um, you know, this, it means the world to me because I, I want to help people and that's why I'm here and the most important way we can do that is by sharing our own stories and being open about it and realizing that it does affect 30 million people a year and it doesn't discriminate it's it, it affects men and women of any race any age any economic um, background nationality and so we're here to give this a voice today and tell people that they're not alone and recovery is possible. You talked about one word that you would associate with this and the word was faith. And I know you're, I'm extremely faith-based as well. Talk to me about how faith has aided in helping you deal with these types of demons. Yeah, my faith, um, my faith is everything because for me, I, 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 I my my value is in 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 God and not uh, my value isn't about what other people think of me I don't hold my value in what weight I am or what my body looks like I know that God loves me no matter what shape or size I am and he loves us all um, he loves us all so much and there's there are no parameters around that and so I do everything I live my life whether as a mom as an actress uh, as a wife, I live them before God, and he's the one I'll be accountable to at the end of the day, and that's what helps me keep it, myself accountable within recovery. You've had such a wonderful year. I grew up on Full House, so to see Fuller House come to Netflix and to see the fan reaction has been insane. Is that, what's it been like it's for been you? It's been amazing. Oh, so much fun. We start our working on our second season this week, so we can't wait to go back into production. And... Um, you know, we, we, I've known how amazing the fans are and how, how much the fans have wanted this forever. So we're thrilled to see that everyone's loving the show and can't wait to give all of you guys more. I love seeing you on The View because I think you're one of the great unfiltered voices on TV right now. <laughs> Talk to me about being on The View. What's that experience been like for you? Um, you know, it's, it's been great. A big learning curve for me. Never thought that I'd ever be a talk show host and be playing myself on television. Uh, I feel very privileged to sit, sit next to Whoopi Goldberg every day and all the other ladies at the table. And, you know, I think this season has been so great because um, there's a there's a difference in the tone at the table this year and that we all have very different points of views, but there's respect amongst all of us in talking about uh, each topic. And, you know, I think that's what, that's what it all comes down to is respectful conversations and knowing that we don't have to agree with each other, but we can still love each other. When you look at having been a child star to now, you're hosting a co-hosting a show, you have a reboot of this successful franchise. Did you imagine your career 20 years ago would be where it is now? No, I, I hoped and prayed for it that it would be, <laughs> but you never expect it because you don't know what life's going to give you. But I'm so grateful, so blessed, so thankful that I'm doing exactly what I love to be doing. And yeah, I'm, I'm hustling. 